What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing the, um, what is this, the Vintage Cube? Is that what they call it? Yes. Apparently it has old cards in it. I don't know. I've never done it before. But we'll see if it's Santa any good. Santa Claus's old-timey cube. Oh, I keep this up. So we want probably right there so we can see all the cards. And it's the maximum amount of bigitude. I like starting off with the Talarian Academy. How about you? That's pretty good. Solitude's supposed to be pretty good. Yeah, yeah there is this Hullbreaker horror, but oh, Solitude is pretty good. I don't know. Talarian Academy. It's Talarian Academy. Yeah, this card's newer. It's got to prove itself to me, but Talarian Academy doesn't have anything to prove. Oh, wow, I mean, it's basically hoof. just Swords of the Plowshares. Yes. Nobody's casting that as a creature. <laughs> What's it called? Five mana? Who's got the time, man? It is hammer time, though. Coalition Relic. I do like a Coalition Relic. I also like an Azorius Signet. I think it is a Relic, though. What if one of these Signets come back? Wouldn't that be sweet? That would be good. It'd be a Crimbus Miracle. That would be amazing. What a day. Resto. Bloodthirsty Adversary. Ooh, Mind's Desire. That is a card. Oh, what up, Shua Garner? In the snow. Memory Jar? The snow. What about Crucible? I don't like any of the cards in this pack. No, there's nothing good. Nothing speaks to me. Obviously, Jar is good. Obviously, like, Mind's Desire could be good, but, like... We could do Yorian. Maybe we just take Mind's Desire? Might as well. What the hell? Oh, Armageddon seems good if we're trying to play all the artifacts. Chrome Mox. See, if it was Mox Diamond, I'd say yes. Armageddon, though. We're going to Armageddon. All right. And then you know what we're going to do? Is we're going to Mind's Desire. Wheels? Oh, that'd be good. Got a red. Not green, though. I mean, we're not really anything yet. And an itch. I scratched it with the claw side of the hammer. I like Wrath of God here. Should we just go, like, blow everything up? Are we just blue-white control with artifacts sub-theming? Sure, why not? Sometimes you can balance the hammer. It's really satisfying. Come on. Don't embarrass me. I don't think they can even see the hammer, Frank. I know, but I can. You know, and that's... Caracas? Yeah, I guess. Damn it. Continue our theme if you don't get to do anything. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> our theme of Broken Lands. Thank you. Oh, man. Primaris Powerhouse. Thank you for the gifted subs, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, okay. We've got Kitty in the chat again. In the chitty chat. Um, Cape of the that? Frost Dragon. Thank you. It's one of the new ones a from... A person land? Uh, yeah. A being land. It's one of the ones from Adventures of the Forgotten Realms. Thank you. Merry Christ... Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. What about night? If I'm not going to take Ram Munap, I'm Thank not going to... I hate night. I don't like... Okay. The, I don't. I personally just don't like it. I understand it's good. It's one of those cards where, like, even though it's kind of good, I still just... It doesn't appeal to me. Does that make sense? Hero? This makes a flyer. Oh, is it flying? Three, four, white flyer. I think it's just this. Okay. Like, we don't feel like a hero deck. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, Faithbound Judge is interesting. You know what this card does? Mm -mm. It's a 4-4 four, four Flying Vigilant Defender. At the beginning of your upkeep, if it has two or fewer counters, put a counter on it, right? So, during your upkeep, you put a counter. Next turn, put a counter. As long as it has three or more counters, it can attack, right? So, basically... After three turns, you're just attacking with it for a 4-4 flyer with Vigilance. If it dies, you can pay the seven mana disturb cost and put it into play and chance a player. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a judgment counter. If there are three or more judgment counters, that player loses the game. So either that or a uh, parallax wave. Let's take this guy. What, is the, what does this one do? This can't be countered. 7-8 for flash. With flash, not four flash. It's not four flash. Whenever you cast a spell, you can return a spell you don't control to its owner's hand, so kind of like Remand. Right. Or you can return an on an online permanent to its owner's hand. So you're basically bouncing something, whether it's, it's a, whether it's a spell or a non-land permanent. 
take this because it's the only thing in our color. And if we get a time walk, eh, Resto's fine as a body. Karma guy. All right, now we're just kind of like, now we're kind of just like blue green, blue white dirtles here. Everybody like dirtles. Everybody do like dirtles. Dirtles was my favorite Pokemon. You know about Dirtles? Oh, I know about Dirtles. Okay. And the snow. The snow. Well, that's a... Oh, the storm dream is alive. I know, we can still do it. I like our Tolarian Academy 1 artifact deck. Thank you! That's nice. Oh, what up, Snoozle Moo? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Y'all are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. GTA. Sun Titan. Force of Will is good too. Force of Will is good. So it's just Volcanic Island. GTA keeps us open if we get like Stone Forge, and it also is an artifact for a Tolarian Academy. Plus, people hate it. People, so it goes along with the uh, people, Armageddon and People Red. do hate it. I think I kind of want Jitae. Take it. All right. Course of Portal. I do like a Course of Portal. Oh, man. The Raminette and the uh, Crucible didn't wheel. Yeah, and we got the Strip Mine here. That's really sad. Kerwood, I put your chocolates and stuff on the table. Watson will eat them. <laughs> uh, isn't that bad? No, he won't eat them because oh, they're on okay. the table now. I think it's just cryptic. Or Chorus of Portal's good, too. Thank you! Or Oblivion Stone goes along with our theme. Oh, Dimitri, what up, dude? Oh, it was Chorus of Portal. You're right. I forgot that. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. Oh, but also this. God. Come on. Take the Stone, the, the stone Forge. You ever cast a Teferi, man? That card's bananas. You ever cast a Stone Forge with a Batter Skull? We don't have a Batter Skull, though. Not yet. Okay. Maybe we can get a Cauldra Complete. That's just like an adult batter skull. It's all grown up, you know. It's a battered skull. Okay, that's aggressive. That sounds violent. Smuggler's Copter. Power Stone good. Narset. I'm really just scratching my entire body with this hammer. Oust. It's just the thing I'm, I'm doing. I like Narset, but I don't think we have anything great with Narset. I kind of just like Worn Power Stone because of... Yeah. Tolarian Academy. Yeah. And it does ramp us to some of these heavier fatty fatty daddies. And it and, and if we have Armageddon, I'd rather have things that Brand Dynamo. Yeah, I do time like Dynamo. Warp. I like Time Warp too though. Ooh, Affinity's back. Oh my god, Affinity! What up? Curry, your chocolates are on the table, okay? Alright. Just don't forget. I kinda like Thran Dynamo. I kind of like Time Warp, though. Take Time Warp. Yeah. It's just Time Walk, but... See, now if we get nine mana, we combo with this. So it's basically the same thing. LED. <laughs> we get some wheels. I don't love it. Face Fetters. Tezzeret. Actually, Tezzeret's not bad. Let's do a Tezzeret. We can untap our Warm Power Stone. Man, I hope that Thrain Dynamo comes back now. Swag Dynamo. Swaggy Bay. The snow. Guys, usually I'm singing Christmas songs all year, but right now, it actually works. What was that noise? Ooh, Mind Slaver. Oh, I do like a Mind Slaver. Spell Pierce. Cemetery Protector, what are you doing? Exile a card from a graveyard when it enters the battlefield. Three, four, flash. Whenever a player, whenever you play a land or cast a spell, if it shares a card type with the card, create a 1 1. Hmm. Mm. Oh, what up, Slow Jabroni? Spear Heliod. Now nah, we're just taking the Mind Slaver. Oh, I like a Colonnade. Charter Corp's not bad either. Yeah, we're going to get some fixing lands, though. All the fixings. What up, Crutch Jr.? Did you get the Christmas cookies to say? No, Grandma, I'm sorry. I must have missed them. Spell Seeker? Do we have anything for Spell Seeker? Smeaker? Smeaker? Spell Smeaker? 
we have nothing right now, actually. What about Sun Titan? Sun Titan might be all right. We only have three cards we can get back, though. I do kind of like well, Elspeth because of Wrath. Let's do Elspeth. Did the Thran Dynamo? Do we, do, we, do we miss it? Of course. There's no way Thran Dynamo. Of course. Do. Of course. What are you, stupid? In this economy? <laughs> uh, Wall of Omens. Not terrible. Troll Magic? Take the wall. Oh, Inkwell Leviathan came back? Do we have anything that works with Thank that? Thank you. I guess Talarian Academy. Eric, thank you for the resub, buddy. Always the sun. Wow, you're better than that. Always the omens. <laughs> oh, see, I thought that was a response to me saying what's up and you were like the sun. Maybe it was. I don't actually know. I'll take this guy. Thank you. Maybe. What do we get with the recruiter? Stoneforge, okay. uh, Riffling Cloud Skate. Is it toughness or power? Thank you. Toughness. toughness. Uh, we can get tendrils. I'll take the tendrils just for the memes. Yeah, Thank okay. you. Yeah, I'll take Croxa. Oh, Cemetery came back. Eric with the gifted subs. Oh my god, man. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome, Thank dude. You. Was there any Neon Dynasty spoilers today? I think there was one like yesterday, to be quite honest. I think the Tets, the, the, the I think it was a uh, Umazawa, maybe. That ninjutsu one? Yeah. Yeah. I think that was yesterday. But let me, I'm going to check the old mythic spoiler, I guess, is the place to go. Yes, yeah, Satoru Umazawa looks like the newest card that was. Very the art. Dude, look at these so lands, good. dude. Remand. I think it might just be remand. This pack is not super impressive. Turn about. Eric, thank you so much, buddy. Really Close appreciate down. it. Do we have enough? We don't really have that many artifacts. No, we have like four artifacts. I think we can still get there. I believe. Sword of Feast and Famine. That's actually not bad. We got a it's an artifact and we have a stone forge. Fallen Shinobi? I think bribery might just be worth it. Yeah, yeah we have we got a bribery here. Double off color signet. Ooh, Thirst for Discovery. That's an interesting addition. Raven Inspector. Also, like Thieving Skydiver and Worm Coil Engine. Yeah. I don't think we need any more big stuff. I think I just want the Thieving Skydiver. Although, Thraby Baby does make a clue, which is not bad. Flesh Knoll. Creeping Tar Pit. Godless Shrine. Yeah, it might just be Jace. Actually, it might just be Elish Norn. I kind of like Elish Norn. Yeah, it just wins games sometimes. It fits with our theme as well. Put you over here. Which is what? Like, uh, don't let the opponent do anything. Wipe their board. Actually, I used to play with a hammer all the time, Zaichi. <laughs> oh, is it Signet? Half, half color Signet? Also, Memory Daily, which is great. Mm. Yeah, we'll just take we'll just take the half signet. Old Siggy. We can take Soulfire Grandmaster out. That guy doesn't do anything. Yet. Hmm. What if we get like a fifth pick ancestral recall? You know, you're right. In that situation, I will put it back in the deck. In the snow. The snow. We don't have any black cards, right? Because we're seeing a lot of fixing. We saw Godless Shrine, Watery Grave, Underground. Yeah. We Glenn could definitely Lender. have an Esper deck. Yeah, Glowlender's fine. Also annoying. And it's good. Yeah, it's 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 better than fine. It's definitely good. Old Siggy was your high school janitor. <laughs> oh, everybody knew old Siggy. Yep. That's just Frank is acting like nothing even happened. What? What does that even mean? Yesterday. How am I? What? What? How am I supposed to act, babe? You know. <laughs> Deserted beach. Is this the uh, two or more? Yeah, it's two or more. You know. Katie's downstairs yelling at me. I think Katie should like just run up here and like yell it into the camera. Wow. <sighs> babe. You know. 
Oh, congrats, Frank and Katie. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Kretsch Jr. Appreciate it, buddy. Are we in? Are we sorted correctly? Now we are. We got two drops. Don't ever forget it. Tank, what do you think about this card? What does it do? Three mana. Draw three cards. Your maximum hand size is reduced by three. Or you can play it for five and you ignore the brackets. Uh. Uh. Is five for three cards good? I don't think. So. I think it's. I think that's pretty pretty average. But I don't know if it's great for Vintage Cube. I mean, Containment Priest good sideboard card. I'm going to take Stone, Stone Cold Serpent. This guy's just good. Cool. This guy's good main deck card. Card that. What? Really? No, that's fine. I'd rather have this actual creature that does stuff. See, like right now, I don't even like Stoneforge because we just have Jitte. Fumigate. Even though we have Rathago? Space Layer is pretty good, too. I was thinking that. Man, I really wish a sword came back. I think we only saw the one, but in case we didn't. Does this mean Mike only gets one Christmas? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it like <laughs> but when we I don't I'm trying to parse that joke. What are you looking at? Kurt's just looking at, oh, a Golgari Signet came back? Mm. That's, I mean, it's it's definitely completely off color, but, uh, you know, yeah. it still taps for two colorless. Mm. Interesting. Sure. Oh, that's old Rutstein. They took out old, old gold gas park. What was the card? Mm. They took out one, um... One card with old in the name and replace it with another card with old in the name. <laughs> Couldn't have both. Could go old tribal. <laughs> I have all the old cards in my deck. We need two cuts. I think it might just be Jitte Stoneforge, to be honest. What? Blasphemy. Look, we get rid of these and now we got a deck. We got something. How dare you. I think this looks good. I mean, it could be. I could be wrong. It could be terrible, but we'll see what happens. In the snow, the snow. Old man of the sea. That's just me. Okay, so these cancel out. These cancel out, and we have one extra white here. So we're gonna do this because is that right? It's the right color. It's pretty even, actually. Bam. Yeah, all right. All right, let's do it. I have no idea if this deck is any good whatsoever. You don't want to include a few swaps so we can play tendrils? I want you to leave the room right now and no. please close the door on your way out. No deal. Dang it. It was close. I almost had him. Wait a minute. Uh... It's funny, right? Do, do, do. Just crushed that match. Wait. Are, babe, are you playing Magic? No, I think she's playing Overwatch. Oh, babe, are you at the computer playing Overwatch? Hello? Okay. <laughs> she's got her headphones on, so I can talk to her through the stream, and she can hear me. And then she screams up her responses. Old screamy. Old screamy. That's what we used to call her, yeah. Oh, that's just old screamy. Little screamy. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be physically painful for everyone involved. Mike B's gonna get real drunk. <laughs> I'm going to mulligan this hand. What do you think? That seems reasonable. Okay. Um, this one's not much better. You going to stream the wedding? Yeah. No. Um, I'm going to ship it again. That seems... Hooray! Wait. 
No, it's still just a, this guy's been in like all three openers so far. So is this guy. Well, I'm gonna go to four. I mean, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Hooray! You know, that's actually not a bad four. This put three cards back. One, two. It's gotta be bribery, right? I don't think so. If we hit bribery, we just win, right? But how long is that gonna take? It's a while. It's gonna be a while. Let me signet. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the bribery. Maybe it's crazy. We're on the draw. I think that's it's really funny you can say the wedding was a banger. Why? Why do you think that's funny, Michael? I don't think these sound effects are enjoyable. <laughs> See, it just keeps doing it. Ooh. That'll be good in like 40 turns. I'm going to be here in 40 turns. Let's take the alerts off. That's probably what it is. Okay, but maybe I can turn the UI up a little bit because I kind of like the clicks. Let's see what this does. It Yeah, I like those noises. For some reason, it gives me like a tactile feel. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I like having a, a clarification when I do a thing. You should get like a keyboard that vibrates. <laughs> but the keyboard will vibrate when I press the button, not when it's registered. Well, it depends on how uh, that they seems, the software. That seems... <laughs> Force feedback, magic together. But I feel like that keyboard would have to literally be attached to Magic Online in some way because otherwise yeah. this program does not strike me as a program that's easily... We could build some AI that would do it for us. Yeah, let's do that. You busy tonight? Uh, Maybe. See, next time we can bribery. How do you feel about that? Should be good. Sometimes I refresh uh, tracking pages on Saturday, even though they're not going to come on Christmas and they're not going to come on Sunday. But I just like I'm like let me see if you uh, you made any movement. Let's see if you did anything. What'd you hit? There's some Cloudscape, Hall Breacher, three creatures. Wow. There's some delivery guy out there gunning for a promotion. He's gonna deliver your package on a Sunday. That's that'd be really nice of him. Oh good, they stole that and they can now untap and. <sighs> Neat. Sometimes you go 3-0 in your first draft, and then your second draft, you realize your luck has returned. I guess they could tap out, but the odds of that seems low when they... Oh, great. <sighs> yeah, that's... That'll do. I mean, we mulled to four, I guess, so... Wow, that was... That was beautiful. I want to bring in Cathar Commando, because we saw both Treachery and... Winter Orb. Doesn't feel like a Wrath deck or an Armageddon deck. The snow. Ooh, I don't know. Armageddon could be fun. Maybe. I mean, I mean Winter Orb, you, nobody has any lands. I guess that's true. Sure. Hey, look, you can play this one. That's true. Oh, he's not going to know what hit him. They'll never know. They'll be like, oh my god, how many cards do you have in your hand? Frank reported All of them? Didn't mulligan down to four cards? It's Christmas. It's a Christmas miracle. I see the game still does not like you very much. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, look at all that mana. Feels good. You can Restoration Angel next turn. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, Grim Monolith, huh? They're fancy. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, that doesn't seem good. I'm no expert. I feel like I'm not just putting a resto in for no reason, so... I'd rather get the second blue down in case we top take a bribery or something. Yeah, I'm doing good, Lance. It's gonna attack you with that middle worker. You know, that did cross my mind, but I feel like the odds of that are Ooh. extremely low. Cool. So six, seven, eight, nine. Citadel and Mind Slaver, huh? All right. So now they just play Bolus the Citadel. 
wait, if you mind slavered them and they had their mind slaver out and you use their mind slaver on them. It's the wording. They would just take their turn as normal. Because they would control their turn. Too bad. Which they already were doing. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, you can play on the Tolarian Academy and then use the Restoration Angel to block their lodestone. You know, I mean, that's pretty much all we can do, unfortunately. I feel like their deck is a little better than ours. Well, with Grim Monolith, Metal Worker, Treachery, etc. Ooh, Bright Steel Colossus. That'll be fun. Bright Steel? Bright Steel. Did you say Bright Steel? Probably. Okay. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that seems like a knockoff version. All right. That's gone. Good thing the Blight Steel's in their hand. Thank goodness. Oh, goody. Okay, sure. Wait, what's on top of there? Oh, do we not get to no, see? No, we don't get to see. They just get to look at it at any time. It's not like Courser. They don't got to reveal nothing. Oh, man. If we could hit, like... It'd be great if we had another artifact, because then we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we can play this to kill both their creatures. That'd be ballin'. You could send their Emery back. So they can reel two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I don't think they can cast that. Even if they hit another artifact, it's only ten. I feel like we just risk this. We know two of the cards in their hand. Now we have the mana for this. Boom. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana next turn. He's going to make his... Uh... If we could draw a Lotus, we can go Eleshnorn and Crack Mind Slaver. Do we have a Lotus? We don't. What if you could just <laughs> randomly draw a card? Well, they hit Talarian Academy. That wasn't in your deck. That'd be pretty good, yeah. So this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so they can crack Mind Slaver in. That seems good. Yep, Talarian Academy was a pretty good one. Pretty good one. I mean, what are they going to do with Mind Slaver in you? I mean, crack our Mind Slaver and waste it, I guess. That's about it. Yeah. Headology, thank you for the, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. I mean, you still don't want them to do it because then they get to untap and yeah. oh, they get to you could just keep playing it with Emery, right? Oh. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is just a lock. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. All right. Well, that was a fun match. I had a good time. Both both parties played hard. Oh boy. This is this is alright. See, this is a hand. You ain't never seen a hand like me. It's from Aladdin. Do you know that? No. Yeah, it's okay. What's an Aladdin? I couldn't tell you. I think it's a movie about a mermaid. Mm. Those tricky mermaids. Buddy, don't even get me started. I don't think I care about keeping Remand up here. I think we're just gonna. What are you looking at? You okay? For some reason, I thought Remand had like the days functionality. The day? <laughs> well, like where they could pay one? I don't know where you can like return an island to your hand or something. Oh, so I could play for free? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Katie said, Whoa, raid. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so the 94 cards containing Aladdin are likely all Paladin cards, 
because Aladdin has two L's. Interesting. I think we just play Caracas Power Stone, right? Sounds good. I mean, what are they going to do? Attack into your wall? No, they're definitely not going to do that. You know why? Because that'd be stupid. Because they'd be dead. Do you can you can wrath and then Armageddon? <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I mean, yeah, I was definitely thinking about it. We could just kill everything. Oh God, what's this? Something for four, huh? I see. Hmm. What do you think it is? Crater hoof. You know, I would be happy with that. I'm afraid it's going to be like Woodfall Primus or Terastodon. Yeah. Those are my big concerns. Prime time. That's fine. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Who earns? Neat. Third card you're targeting. None. Oh. Just a nunzo. I think that could have been worse. Well, I mean, next turn we can Armageddon. R uh, Wrath, yeah. But we could also Armageddon. And then we could just keep up our man. Yeah, this is actually okay. I think they actually should have killed another land. Shut up and take my money! Valtrek, Muchel said you got a gerb. How is it? What studio are you working at? Hope you're having a Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm currently uh, at, a, at a company called Scopely. You might, guys might know them. They make a ton of great mobile games. Um, and we're designing something new that we can't really talk about. But it's been great. I've loved it. My coworkers are fantastic. It's fully remote. It I is. hope they cast a huge uh, week. Yeah, that seems like a good time to remain. I hope they cast a oh dang it <laughs> oh man if I had one more land I could play Alendra oh that's interesting I think we just wrath here right yeah attack then wrath but wrath just keeps getting better true like they're gonna put more creatures on the board <laughs> but then like we have a bunch of creatures in hand I guess yeah, all right. What the hell? Oh man, they didn't. They didn't block. Chubs. They don't even know. You got two white up. <laughs> you don't block. <laughs> they thought I had a trick that would kill their their blocker, even though the base power and toughness is better. Wow, look at this guy. Wow. What's he doing? Is it Giddles? No, nope, Garrett. Giddles? Giddles is... Oh, Gideon, right? Yeah, I was like, I don't think they're going to cast that with five five uh, forests. Neat. Isn't Elden Ring just the Dark Souls variant? Because if so, probably not. Those games are not really my my bag. It definitely looks like it has Dark Souls-ish gameplay, but yeah. it also seems like it has more of an actual storyline. Wasn't well, it from the Dark Souls guy? Yes. Okay. But like, it has like a storyline done by, what's that guy's name? The guy that did uh, Game of Thrones? Oh, Hideo Kojima? No. Hmm. That's different. I, I know, it was a joke. <laughs> uh, you're referring to uh, George R. R. Martin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we know they have a we know they have a forest in hand, so Yeah, that's fine. I can start hitting them with Faith Bound Judge. Maybe one day eventually. I'm gonna judge your face. Please don't. I'm very sensitive. Wait, what does the enchantment on the back do? Uh so at the beginning you, you enchant them. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a judgment counter on it. If there are three or more that counters on it, the they lose the game. Oh snap! 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't forget to play your land. Yep. Good, we don't have a rat. It's really a shame. <laughs> I mean, we didn't really have an, an ideal way to deal with a 9-9 nine -nine, and don't really have to put more things on the board while they have a 9-9. Nine -nine. Wait, did they just not use their Garrick? Or did they untap? I think they untapped, yeah. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then they untapped 2 and played Avenger, so. Come on, that. Okie dokie. Yeah, this, this deck, this seems bad for Armageddon, so. All we gotta do is hold out for five more turns. That's a good, yeah, we can do that. And this flips. What happens in five turns? Uh, your faith-bound judge will have flipped, and then you'll win the game. No, it doesn't flip unless you cast it for its disturbed oh, cost. Sweet. Yeah, it doesn't flip on its own. They have to kill it, and then we have to pay seven to put it back into play as the enchantment. You're like, well, this is much more hopeless now. Come on, okay. put, your, put your little triggers on the stack. There you go. They're slow rolling us. I know, it's true. So you might say it's from from software. I tried. You got an auger? Okay. You may play lands from the top of your library as long as there are creatures with three or more different powers. Five, two, and two. There are not. You can cast creatures from the top as well. What, you did an alpha there? That's what, interesting. What? He's taking like eight. That doesn't make any sense. That's really... I wonder if he's like getting ready for... Uh... Oh, they're probably going to... Why didn't they just ultimate this turn? What? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 8 plus 18. What's that? 33. I have... Yeah, they could have just won if they ultimated Garrick here. They're really kind of just... <laughs> they're slow rolling. Yeah, this is... It's okay. We'll just draw a Snapcaster off the top as, as well as a, an extra mana source. What could go wrong? Well, I mean... There's no guarantee they'll actually do anything next turn. That's a good point. They just keep playing creatures. Now I'm wishing I had that Fumigate. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah, but we're not there anymore. Now I just know to hold the Wrath until forever. <laughs> That's not going to do it. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, Armageddon, you can leave. Hmm. Anything that, well. Actually, Baneslayer might be decent. I kind of want Iona in here, just because if we ever get to cast it with, like, Warren Power Stone or yeah. Solarian Academy, like, it's... You just name green and lock him out forever. Yeah. Do you have anything that kills creatures? Lush, Norn, and Wrath of God. And that's pretty much it. What about, uh, Gte? Gte is actually not terrible. Skydiver can come out. We'll bring in Stoneforge. Yeah, they didn't really play any artifacts. Wait, this isn't the deck that had... The last deck was the one that had uh, Bolts of Citadel, right? Lance, have a good night. Have a good uh, Christmas, buddy. Thank you for the support, man. Really appreciate it. Bolts of Citadel, that was the first round. That we got absolutely... Absolutely crushed. Tezzeret. Yeah, they did regulate us. Whatever, I'll put that in here. Also, if we can just hit bribery with enough mana to cast it as opposed to mulliganing to four, then that's cool. Yeah, the sand seems fine. I believe in our ability to hit white sources. What are you looking at? Armageddon. It's just like a reanimate with pro black. Oh, they mulled to five? Ooh, now they thing. know what it's like. Mulled to four? Okay, we're probably just going to the next game. Scoop. Four is usually people's limits where they're like, well, I don't even want to play it anymore. Two scoops. Give me that Raisin Bran. Mm. It's fantastic. I actually like Raisin Bran. A lot of people hate it. 
I enjoy it. I don't mind it. I like the there's that like raisin bran crunch version. That one's good too. I like that the raisins have the sugar on them. I think a lot of people don't like that the bran flakes are just normal bran flakes. That's fine with me. Oh, good. Do they tap a mana to play their mono? <laughs> okay. This is your this is your mono four, huh? Hey. Seems good. Oh, we get to go course of portal next turn. That's pretty hot. Mm. Mm. And then we can just vote for uh, carnage. Good old carnage. Like the new movie. I didn't see the second Venom movie. Same. I didn't see it either. It was the it was the thirty four percent score or whatever on Rotten Tomatoes that really dissuaded me. It's probably something we'll all watch like for funsies. Oh my god, dude. They're just gonna go get Terastodon on again. Just wrath before they I can't. <laughs> Sacrifice this and so they're sacrificing both of these. Really frustrating. I don't want to play the white because I don't want them to kill that. I think we just play Academy and Course of Portal, and if they have to go get stupid ass, cricket ass, Terastodon, then they have to probably kill these two in like Telerian Academy. And then they're losing two creatures and we're getting three elephants, maybe. Elephantes. Either way, as we were playing this, as we were drafting this, I kind of didn't feel like it was going. You can kind of tell. Sometimes I have decks I like, but they're not very good. And they're very obviously not, like, broken in any way. Woodfall Primus. That's more reasonable. I wonder why they didn't go for Terrastic. I wonder if Terrastic like the last card in their hand. Nope, that's interesting. It's just this. And then we can keep up some. Alright. Get rid of Woodfall. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, we're just taking six here. I ain't in the business of chum blocking to prevent two. You doing okay? Uh-oh. Sure. Well, <laughs> she went. Ah! See, that's interesting. I think we do do that, and then like if they would fall, that's fine. They kill one thing. You mean wrath? Yes. Uh, so you can go one, two, three, four. I guess we can attack first, right? Yeah, might as well. Because also then they have more creatures in their graveyard that we can karma guide in the future. Because I really don't want them to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that seems worse. Leaving them with 8 mana seems... I have a guy to our graveyard, right? Uh, target creature from your... Yeah, I thought it was... Actually, I thought it was any graveyard for some reason. It's likely because I'm not smart. What are you going to get rid of, champ? Yep, that's fine. It's better than getting rid of our second white source. True. This card does not seem vintage cube worthy. 
wrecking us pretty well. Maybe. Uh, what? I think it's a land card. Uh, so, upkeep. You may put a land So I just get to hit you with this next turn and become the monarch. Seems like it. Yeah, I'll just do that. You can be the monarch and draw a card this turn. That's totally fine. Because I also want to resto this and get a second counter out of it. Or we can just play Karma Kaiden. Get a 3 3 back and double block. That's. Wait, 3 3 are we getting? Oh, again, it's out of, the, out of our graveyard. You're you're right. <laughs> I keep thinking it's any graveyard. I don't know why. Okay. Yo, I can be the monarch now. So if you resto on their turn after he attacks, you can double block the woodfall and kill it, right? Yes. And this would persist. So that seems pretty decent. Remand. Dang it. It's very close. You may put a land from your hand on the battlefield. Knock yourself out. They didn't do it. Come on, little little buddy. One, two, three. Into our <laughs> they totally activated our trap card. Let's do a little blinker blinkerino. Yo, I could double block that. Now all we need to do is Armageddon him. <laughs> oh, so my Glenelanger just lives with two, two, two counters up. Sounds good. Probably a smart choice. But now you can Karmic Guide back your resto. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. <laughs> Which will then also reset your. Uh... Oh yeah, the Glenelanger. Oh boy, it's all happening. It's getting spicy up in here. See, the deck got real good all of a sudden in like one turn. And we're the Monarch, so we still get to draw those extra cards. That extra island we needed. Oh, I should have attacked first, but you know what? That's okay. I'm not really concerned with such things. It's beneath you. Okay, that's enough lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good old nine to four. Do you have those dogs out there? Yes. Oh, they scooped. Combo was too powerful. It was pretty good. Was it? Oh, man. <laughs> Did you see this? <laughs> oh, good gravy. <sighs> like, we're just never in a position to cast this, and we have no way to get it back. Could we have cast it last time? I don't think so, no. I think we only had, like, seven mana. If we had a way to get it into the graveyard, that'd be cool. True. Like, I could easily discard it, and then just reanimate it with, like, Karma Guide. Do we have any discard? No. Thank you! Oh, the real Team Ramos. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it, Gilbert. <sighs> I don't think it's this guy. I almost feel like we want to kind of be more creature-centric because they're playing a bunch of creatures, but I feel like we did that. So maybe we're just fine. Just fine. Just fine. All right, let's do it. Ooh, bribery. And wrath. I feel like this has the all the all the components for a If you kill or if uh, a persist creature, if you bribery a persist creature and it dies, it goes back to their side. They get it, yeah. All right. 
There's another land for you. All I want for Christmas is you. We can soul fire Grandmaster and pay an extra four to to buy back Wrath of God. So you bribery their Terrasodon. Yeah. Blow up all their lands. Yeah. Attack. Yeah. Then Wrath. What if they block with their three fat daddies, their three elephants? Then you don't Wrath. Thank you. I see. I see. Burnerator, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Then you don't wrath. <laughs> Kerwood strategies. Augur of Arms. Do, 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 do. Oh, they didn't have a land on top and they don't land in. Oh, they did. Did they come up from the top? I don't know. They just scoop now. Hmm. Two signets and an academy. Man, I'm very tempted to, to to wrath of God here and then bribery next turn. So if we play signet one two, we play this, then we have one two three mana. Is it just wrath into bribery? You think? It would work. It it wouldn't actually. We'd have to get the signet down first. Because yeah, if we play Caracas this turn, we don't actually have a fifth mana. This oh, this this still produces land. I'm stupid. Just ignore me because I'm dumb. And really, the only reason I'm doing this is because this gives them extra looks, and this is also a land. So we're oh god damn it. Thank you. Plus, I do want to play Wrath before I play Bribery because if I play Bribery, I don't want to kill the creature they gave me. Zimini Pot, what up, buddy? Thank you for the resub. Do you think they have anything else like crazy big other than uh... Terrastodon and Woodfall Primus? Mm -hmm. Maybe. But, I mean, they do have... I mean, they're playing a natural order deck. That's true. But those are two good enough targets. Oh, finale for one? <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's something, I guess. Cool. Not great, Bob. Too bad it's not legendary. I can't bounce it. Oh, sounds good. Let's just play that guy. This might win us the game on the spot, to be honest. Maybe he'll scoop so you can't see what's in his deck. Grats on making May rent. Yeah, we nailed it. Kolga? Did they take... What's it called there? Well, they got Elder Gargroth. Kolga. Woodfall Primus. They might have taken Terrestin on out. Looks like it. Or it's one of the four cards in their hand. What is Elder, Elder Gargaroth? Is that any good for us? Oh, that guy's great in general. Like, whenever he attacks or blocks you, they make a 3-3 gain through or draw a card. See, the problem with playing Woodfall is that eventually they'll... They'll get it back, it. right. Kogla could be good. Uh, we can also fight this guy. See, here's what I think, right? We do have a human we can return they just if we get green. a finale to bring that guy back, probably because they don't have enough mana. Right. So you think it's Kogla? Yeah, we kill that. Yeah, for you to use Finale Devastation to get a 1 1 and not play land is. Scoop. It's pretty telling. Scoop. <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> Daryl. He scooped. 1 1. Scoop. We're almost undefeated. Except for the, the loss. But if you, if you don't consider that, then we're yeah. pretty much undefeated. Always undefeated if you don't consider the losses. Yeah, that's true. Which I try to do. I mean, I consider losses wins. That's interesting. So I'm a winner. It's a solid strategy, though. So everything I do is a win, by definition. I can't say any way for that to backfire. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just... Okay. Do you ever think about getting a water cooling block for your G-Force? No, because I don't really press it that hard you know it looks cooler though maybe but do you see how my tubes are going up i see those tubes yeah 
But also that's um, I watched another whole video mm-hmm. about how this is actually okay. The thing you don't want is the pump block above to be the, above the radiator. Yeah, because the water is the air is still going to be higher than. Yeah, yeah, so you get it. You just don't want the air to accumulate inside. Inside, the correct, hundred percent. Sometimes I appreciate that you're, you're 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 real smart, so then I don't have to explain things as thoroughly. Well, Mr. Burns had done it. <laughs> Wait, what did he do? He, I mean, he's done a lot. He's had 30 seasons. So. Is Mr. Burns still alive? Yeah. Thank goodness. Have any major characters left? Um, Mrs. Krabappel, the actor who played her, died. Well, that's sad. So she's not in the show anymore. I like that they retired the character instead of just getting a new person to play her. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I don't know what I'm playing against, so this hand's... So you know that she married Ned, right? I don't know if I did know that. That's so, funny. So, like, she starts... Uh, I'm actually here, Zimmy Pot. Um, she starts uh, dating Ned. And then at the end of the season, they, like, did, like, this phone-in poll. Like, should they stay together or not? Mm-hmm. And so everybody voted for them to get married. But then, like, her, the actor who played her died. And so, like both of ned's wives have died yeah that's what i was just thinking when you said it i was like oh wow so they both died Jeez. what's ned's out current outlook on the show is it still upbeat and is he still the same character yeah okay so those changes haven't like profoundly affected his character interesting the simpsons is interesting because you have like 30 years of the same characters and like it requires such a strong suspension of disbelief because obviously bart hasn't been in school for 30 years well, they, they also, they keep shifting Homer and Marge's, like, age. So, like, there's been episodes where Homer was in, like, school in the 80s. But he's, like, also been in school in the 70s. Oh, so, like, whatever whatever works for the story. Yeah. Uh, that's that's good. Hey, look at this guy. That's a yikes for me, dog. Like, there's an episode, I think he's in college. There's an episode where Homer goes to college, which obviously also mm-hmm. conflicts with previous canon mm-hmm. but he uh he Look starts up a grunge band called sad gasm <laughs> oh boy i don't i don't like gold span dragon very much no i kind of want to just bounce it now do it but then i just get to replay it and attack again i guess that's because i can't do anything else i guess they're probably just going to crack this and counter it somehow. They didn't. We'll all be. Plus, you can use your Rift Kate Skate to block it next time. Or I can r- block it and then resto and blink it and bounce it. Get wrecked. Get restoed. Uh-oh. Please keep the downstairs bathroom free. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I think Michael's going to have uh, big poops coming up. Does this draw? Draw a card, yeah, that's okay. Shit must die. <sighs> you could flash Narset in at the end of next turn. I can't flash Narset in. Right, you mean sorry, Resto. Resto yeah. I'm to just time warp and then Celestial Colony kill it. It's not a great use of time warp, but... But both of these cost five to activate, so six total lands, right? Yeah. Interesting. Maybe it was... <laughs> Dude, Michael for breakfast this morning had ten sausage links. We all made family Christmas breakfast, and Michael had ten... 10 sausage links oh what up mike good seeing you buddy miss you dude i hope you're having a great holiday yeah i'm just gonna do it well michael's running to the bathroom right now hey, what do we get for doing this uh next term we get to just untap play sure well we get to play an extra land and then just kill narset directly so like we didn't have enough to activate no not this turn one two three yes we did i lied to you I literally just miscounted. He had four eggs, ten sausage links, 
a good number of hash browns and two croissants croissant croissants yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the next game this doesn't feel winnable yeah i like that <laughs> croissant oh boy i'm gonna take armageddon out i don't feel like it's good in our deck that was the whole reason we drafted it <laughs> Maybe. That is a big boy breakfast. You ever been a big boy? No. But I don't eat, like, I don't eat burgers, really, so. They got a big boy in Japan. It's complete, like, it has the same, like, uh, like, the same mascot and, like, the same, like, like, it's the same chain. It's the same, it's the same kid holding the. Yeah. Except that, like, the stuff they sell is completely different. They had a salad bar. That was oh, probably... dude, I love a salad bar. Well, so this salad bar was probably the least amount of stuff that you could have that would legally qualify a salad. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what? I kind of like this hand. What up, Willie Tanner? Got that wall of omens in there. The resto angel for the bounce. Extra card draw. I'm kind of laughing at Watson right now. He's making really ridiculous noises. I don't know if... You guys probably can't hear it because of the noise cancellation, but remember that time Katie ate that cheese. So we got we got really nice cheese. We spent about a hundred dollars on cheese from this really bougie cheese store in Fort Collins. It was really great. Um, but we think one of the mo the mozzarella cheese we got, it was buffalo mozzarella, and it was like in a really it was like imported and really nice. It was great. Uh, it was in a package. It said it, best if used by December twenty third, and I was like, two days can't be that big of a deal. But then we opened it and Katie was like, oh, this tastes sour. And we think it was, we think it was bad. Bad cheese is bad. Bad cheese is bad. By definition. That's, yeah. So Michael ran into the bathroom. He just got home from a walk and he was like, keep the bathroom clear. And so he ran into the bathroom and, uh. Katie said he ran into the bathroom and he's like, I'm like, did you, did you shit your pants? And he's like, no, but it was very close. I'll tell you a story. So we're going to get a booby pants story. Frank is like the air control for the bathroom. <laughs> Do I, is, how so? Explain. You're the, you're the control tower. You need to keep that runway clean. <laughs> I had the, I had the lighted, the light up sticks. And I was like, we're going to need a, we got a clear landing coming in. We got a, we got a plane coming in. He's, he's coming. I was going to say he's coming in hot. Oh, I have a Cathar commando that can just shoot that down. Oh, that's going to be satisfying. Get wrecked. But it was their, look at this. Look at this draw card. Oh. K chains isn't going to know what hit them. Oh no. The only land we have is a T Academy. You could cast their stone coil serpent. That's true. I mean, I also I could just cast yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah. In. Just make a one one for one to get a man off this. Why? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's good. Like, it's not like you're going to be able to do anything with that one man anyway. <laughs> this, is, this is my walk and this white line is how long I've been holding it in <laughs> wow that's literally half of the walk oh they mole drifted oh man I could have skydivered and stolen something I don't think what you said was English there I think you trailed off a bit there yeah, it was kind of like that. I think I, I think I'd, I'd be like too short for Thran Dynamo here. I'm just gonna make this a four four, Thank you. and it's got reach. So come at me, bro. Mm. 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 Ten six nine or ten six nine or I got a bogey on my bandit. Come on back. Is that how that works? Oh great, they're just gonna kill my Stony. Okay, okay, I can see you're gonna be a little biscuit. That's good. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Who can say? 
Skydiver can't steal. They have seven cards in hand still? Oh, God. That library is going to do some work soon. Well, they can just block. Oh, that's right. <laughs> They're like, oh, shoot. Yeah, well, still going to still gonna hit it. And if this worked the way I thought it did, we could get their Muldrift back, and that'd be cool, but... It would be cool. You could get your, uh, you could get your Stone Coil Serpent back. I'd considered it for a moment. I think they're considering whether... Oh, there you go. It was like, Muldrifter is definitely worse. So now I'll play this. Uh, Cathartic. Cathar Commando back. I was thinking that, but they didn't really have a great... That cheese made me vomit in the kitchen sink. It's true. She did. She did. I came out of the bathroom. And she was like... <laughs> <laughs> It was not pleasant for anyone. Especially her, I imagine. It's a lot of mana. Oh, it's an artifact. Are they going to draw a card first? Buddy, if this is a seven mana artifact, we don't have enough mana to take it. No, but you can use the Carthark. Oh, that's right? true. We can just kill it. Yeah, good call. Oh, we're right, and Lil Commandy. That's what they used to call me in high school. They were like, oh, it's Lil Commandy. Oh, they're just hard casting us. Wait. Well, we can still kill that. Nice. The most they can do is get, like, okay, that's fine. Do they get a 3-3 three, three shark every turn? Is that what's going on here? Oh, we need a land. Fuck. <sighs> it's land academy. It's been a real bummer. We just don't have enough artifacts. That's a yikes for me. One, two, three. We have one, two, three, four. So you put the Coalition Relic in play. You get one mana from the Coalition Relic being in play, and you get another mana for the, from the Coalition Relic. Yeah. Coalition Relic. Now it's one, two, three, four. We need six. What did they hit off that? Spell Pierce. Good to know. Uh, let's get rid of Chandra. Oh, yeah. All right. Makes sense. Come on, whiff. Oh, they didn't whiff. Yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Is my phone in my pocket? I feel like a vibration, but I don't know what's going on. Steal his library of Alexandria. Don't ask, just do it. That's a good that's a good strat. Just reach up there? Yeah, just take it. Don't think. So you got eight cards and these two? Sure. Make a zero zero. <laughs> it died. Oh. <laughs> yep. That seems good. Charge your relic. Oh. Looking close to time for a wrath. Sure is. Although you can Cathar Commando and then can kill this. 
Yeah, but then they just get to keep their Shark Typhoon, which seems worse. We could also Wrath and then get back the Bane Slayer, too. That's true. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang it, we're like short on every... Oh, let's steal the the Mox Ruby. Yeah, that pays for itself. One, two, three. Can't be zero? No, it can't be zero. Two, three, four, five, six left over. And if, if, uh, they're gonna they're gonna tap it hundred percent. You get one for it being seven. And maybe they won't tap it. See if they're a pro or not. They also have oh they have spell pierce though. That's that that could actually be fine. Because I think we're gonna have seven, so we can time warp. That's actually better because now they're tapped out. Uh, we're going to have one, two, three. Wait, we have one. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five. This would be six. <sighs> Maybe we just let them have it. Right, because we can't do all the things if we take it. What is the other thing we need to do? If we... I wanted a time warp here, but it might not be relevant. Maybe we just because they're tapped out, so we just tap these two. We get the mocks, then we wrath with these. Just in case. Yeah. So we still need to kill that shark type thing. Time twister. That's fascinating. They had seven car oh, they have Narset out. Cool. <laughs> oh boy. Gotta love Narset. times not horrible could likely be worse I guess I mean they have nine shark tokens so you know they either have to find an answer to one one artifact or or they can't attack you. I guess that's true. Oh, this is exhausting. <laughs> we could get our wrath back. As our one card if they if they time twister again or if they draw. Or if they you know, as our draw. They also only have thirteen cards left in their deck. Yeah, but they can just time twister. That's true. They have a bloodthirsty this card. So then they play it. Are they gonna time twister again? No, they're just gonna ancestral again, I guess. What if they deck themselves? Zimminipod, have a great holiday, buddy. Michael's like, was it, what, anybody got any Pepto or Tums? And I'm like, 
Do you think it was that tenth sausage that did you in? Well, I said it out loud. Half here might be like pretty bad for them. What about a Riffling Cloudscape? Anything that you can bounce that would be good to bounce? One, two, three, four. Maybe, yeah, bad. maybe this thing. Down two. Still have seven cards in their hand, which is pretty hilarious. They've got 10 cards left and you have 30. Okay, you're going to just play miscalc. Sure. Oh, yeah, they know all about it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I, t I also described in depth the breakfast that you had. That would that would maybe facilitate the poop. What? So double poops. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to hit the Narset. Because if they do like time twister well, bullshit again, like how many? I, I actually guarantee to make it two, three, two, no, three, four, five, six. But even if they just jump a bunch, that's still fine. Yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, I watched like two episodes of Arcane, so don't. Uh... Once you're in that five sausage range number, six through ten don't really matter. You know that sounds correct. Actually, once you hit that six sausage, really, there's no real difference after that. <laughs> Oh man. What other abilities does Stone Coil have? Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. You show them the fancy ring? It's going to be hard to really see there, but. I got a ring. <laughs> Make it big like you do the zoom in face. I don't actually have any. Can we do this? Nope, that doesn't work anymore. We just disappear if we do that. I don't have a good zoom here. Well, I guess we'll die. I don't know if that's the correct uh, consequence, but... Are you winning, son? No, Dad. Mm. Oh, did Watson just jump up there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he around. It's chilly in here. Remember how Michael took two poops after he ate ten sausages? Are we dead? Michael is a boss. Are we dead? Just pretty bad. Oh, we're going to two. We can still pull this out. I think we're still good. Come on, Wrath. Oh, well, that'll do. All right. One, two. A shocking one, two. Not the best. Pretty bad. Very good. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.